I'm a professional advisor for academic advising here. I'm also a history adjunct instructor and for the Miss Henderson State University pageant I serve as our executive director. Hi, my name is Ariel Michael. I'm contestant number eight for the Miss Henderson State University pageant. I am a junior pre-pharmacy major. My name is Adrian Prince. I'm contestant number four and I'm a sophomore accounting major. My platform is promoting FFA amongst today's youth and I was an FFA in high school, all throughout high school, and I loved it and I think it's really fun. And I know a lot of students and kids don't really know much about agriculture and so I'd like to help advocate it. For the pageant itself, I start planning June to July. So about half the year and then the other half of the year, I'm supporting our reigning Miss Henderson State as she prepares for Miss Arkansas. As Miss Henderson, I would really hope to um, get my platform out there and bring people aware of how important cyber safety really is and just be a good image for Henderson as a whole. Um, Miss Henderson has a the big spotlight on her and everybody's always watching. Um, so I think that it would be really neat to be that person who can represent Henderson. And my favorite part on the flip side of that is, you know, seeing that crowning moment and getting to support our Miss Henderson at State. It's very exciting to see this young woman come out of her shell and she uses a platform and a platform is an important issue to her that she gets out in the community um, to promote and help others with. So it's exciting to see her um, really um, represent Henderson by supporting that platform throughout the community and of course representing us at Miss Arkansas. My platform is cyber safety and I chose that. It took a while to finally come up with that but once I figured out that's what I wanted to do it, it clicked and I think it's something that doesn't really get a lot of attention because of privacy issues um, but I'm really excited to advocate for that. I started doing pageants in about sixth grade just for fun with my best friend and then over the years it just it became so much fun so I just started continue to do them. There were a lot of factors that went into me deciding to actually do a pageant. I'm always up for trying something new so it'll definitely be a really new experience and scholarships are a big part in pageants that a lot of people don't realize how much you really can get from it. Um, and then, like I said, interview skills and other, other skills, you know, just meeting new people and networking. I would hope to, of course, represent Henderson well. You know, I want to be someone that other girls can look up to, and I just hope that I can get scholarships for furthering my education. Usually I may know one or two before it gets going, but by the end I feel very close to all the ladies, and that's that's my favorite part of it, getting to know them and seeing them coming out of their shell and supporting all of them. My talent is a swing flag routine because I was in color guard in high school and here at Henderson. And so I feel really comfortable doing it because I do it every Saturday during football games. So yeah. My talent is actually playing the clarinet. <laughs> I played that in band, so it was it was easy to figure figure that out. But we are part of the Miss America organization. So we make sure that we abide by all of those rules and regulations. We also just want to make sure that all of the contestants are happy. And of course the hardest part is that there can only be one winner. So I wish, I wish we could award more, but that's of course the most difficult part because I've become very close to the ladies. Well, the Miss America organization is the largest scholarship uh, foundation for young women and I'm being pre-pharmacy I'm obviously going to go to pharmacy school and so scholarship money is going to be for my benefit. It takes a lot of money to get prepared for the pageant and then you know what you get back is is good if you win but mostly I've just really I haven't bought anything new um, and that's that's a big factor and it really makes a difference in the price I've bought used dresses off of swap shops or or Facebook or things like that and that's really helped cut down on the price and you know nobody's ever going to know if it's used and if it's in good condition then it looks just the same if you ask me. Not holding a title at the moment is people don't really want to like donate to oh some contestant so it's just it comes out of pocket for now. 
This will be my first pageant. I'm really excited. Uh, I never really knew a lot about pageants until I came to college and, and I cheered with Brooke. I'm in a sorority with a couple of girls who did pageants and it's a really neat experience and you can gain a lot from it, interview skills, scholarships, and um, it's really beneficial. We definitely try to um, utilize our students. We have some wonderful talent on our campus and so we reach out to current students and then we also always have an alumni who is a staff member get involved as well. I'm just really excited. It's one week away from today. So. I'm excited. Yay.